is Aaron Cosro. I'm a painter from Philadelphia, United States, currently documenting Korean culture through oil painting. Painting for me is a bit of a journal. I like to capture the people and places around me for the community so we can all have something to look back on and kind of remember the places that we all enjoyed and shared together. Ujiro is a district of Seoul known for its custom fabrication skills and experience. But with Seoul's lightning development, older properties and older districts like Ujiro are lined up for demolition and redevelopment. I had the opportunity to sit down with some of the workers of Ujiro and they had mutual interest in having their workers documented before the incoming demolition. Ujiro was in the past Sorry, 나라밖에 없을 거야 아마 세계적으로도 이런 도시 안에 그런 이 제조업이라든가 이런 게 없다고 여기에서 빈 집이 하나도 없었어요 빈 가게가 하나도 없었고 가득 차가지고 지금은 이제 그 달라진 게 재개발 때문에 많이 이제 무너져서 여기가 이제 허물어졌기 때문에 끝에고 그 상황하고는 지금 완전 천재 차이로 많이 이제 변해 버렸는데 이제 재개발로 하다 보니까 여기에 인 있었던 분이 자기 터전이 없어서 뭐 터전을 마련해 달라고 우리가 뭐 시, 예, 시나 구청이나 많이 애원을 해봤지만 그것도 뭐 되지도 않고 해서 다른 데로 이제 문례동이나 파주나 남양주나 그렇게 이사로 간 사람들이 많아요. 그런 사람들 볼 때는 너무 다 마음이 아프고 뭐 가족보다 더 친해져. 저는 학생들 그 조영학과 학생들 그. 작품들을 이렇게 갖고 오면은 그거를 좀 해주는 해줘요. 거기에서 이제 뭐 상을 받았다든가 점수를 많이 받았다든가 그러면 그 친구들이 이제 그뭐 바깥스레도 사가지고 와서 고맙다고 점수 많이 받아도 최고다고 막 이러면서 사장님 때문에 나 좋은데 취직됐다 그러고 이럴 때가 제일 좋아 우리는 기분 굉장히 좋아. 그게 보람이지 뭐. 다른 데서 못 한다 그러면 청계천 가면 된다 이런 인식들이 다 있기 때문에 우리나라 사람들이면은. 근데 이게 없어진다 그러면 그게 이제 나중에 어떻게 될지 우리는 아무도 몰라. 우리 죽으면 그만이니까 죽잖아. 우리 나이 먹으면. 근데 그 사람들은 다음 세대든 모르겠어 어떻게 해서 어떻게 해 나갈지 또 그나마는 대로 또 해겠지. I worked on the painting for about 40 days. There are 24 faces. So it was kind of like a portrait school for me. You know, kind of just learning as I go, working my way through all of these faces. The painting came out pretty cool. I went back to Ujiro and knocked on a, a couple doors and asked if I could, you know, use this this certain space up against this garage and see if I could use that space for a little bit of a street exhibition. So we made this date, told Mr. Joe, the organizer, that we're gonna come back with the painting on March 11th and we're gonna have this street exhibition and show all the workers this huge painting. So here we kind of have like this pop-up DIY street exhibition. Got some bottles of soju, got some bottles of makgeolli for anybody who wanted to come out. Throughout the course of the afternoon, everybody was still working. They all kind of stopped and hung out with their buddies, looking at the painting, you know, making fun of each other, you know, talking about, you know, like, oh, my hair is not that gray. Oh, look, it's the same thing. You're wearing the same clothes as you were doing that day. All the workers who came out, checked out the painting, they all had a smile on the face. And I could really, you know, feel that appreciation from them. A bunch of other workers from, from the area who weren't even in the painting. They all came, hung out, we were drinking the soju. They were yelling at me for not having included them in the painting in the first place. I told them that maybe I could squeeze them there in the back.
ultimately soul is more than the bright lights, uh, K-pop and what we see on TV. It's the everyday working people that built the city and filled it with its you know, vibrance and its awesome culture. And I hope that this painting highlights that part of soul and help us remember, appreciate and keep alive this awesome page from Soul's history.